The daily new COVID cases are leveling off nationwide. NBC's Allison Barber has made her way to Ocean Springs, Mississippi. She's checking back in with the Mississippi ICU that was uh, flat out overwhelmed with patients just one month ago. And Allison, I know last month, the staff that you talked to at the hospital said they were feeling desperate. What did they say this time? Yeah, I mean, because remember, whenever you have a situation where they're seeing a massive influx of patients needing hospital level care because of COVID-19, all of the other medical emergency medical needs people have, those don't stop. So you have this ripple effect where they just simply don't have the resources, the staff available to handle all of it. And that's really what we saw happening here just one month ago. Today, the doctors, the nurses, the respiratory therapists, they all say things have become much more manageable right now, but they also say they're not out of the woods yet. Listen. How would you describe things now compared to a month, a month and a half ago? So under control, whereas before we felt that we were literally drowning, it doesn't feel like that anymore. Going forward, I am hopeful that this curve will continue on its trajectory, keep going down, we're going to have less people until the next surge comes along, which I think is inevitable. And last time we were here, when we walked into that ICU, every single room was full. All but one at that time had COVID patients in them. 90 plus percent were unvaccinated. This time around, they had a combination of people there because of COVID-19, but also people who were there for other medical needs. They even had one bedroom that was entirely empty a month ago. They had people with COVID-19 in the emergency room needing a bed in the ICU. That doctor we spoke to, Dr. Barber, he explained that it's kind of a combination of factors improving things here. It is the vaccination rate in Mississippi increasing a fairly a good amount in the last month or so. It's also that you had a whole lot of people get sick. So there is natural immunity. Both of those things, higher rates of vaccination, natural immunity, it's impacting and helping to improve the situation on the ground here. But one thing he was very clear in wanting to emphasize is that even if you have had COVID-19, you still should get vaccinated. They say there are numbers of studies that have shown natural immunity, the antibodies you get from that. It's it's not as strong as it is from one of the available COVID-19 uh, vaccines. And there are other studies that have shown that your immunity and the antibodies that you might get from actually having COVID-19, it varies person to person. Some people don't always have antibodies. So they say it really is important if they're going to stay in a manageable place that vaccination rates continue at the pace they're at uh, right now and, and even move beyond that. Craig. All right. Allison Barber Ocean Springs, where, again, things appear to be improving. Uh, some good news this morning. Allison, thank you.